What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. You already know what day it is today. It is the one and only Annie Monday. I'm back, full effect, let's get into it. In today's Annie Monday, I'm gonna be drawing Chisato from Lycoris Recall, really cool anime that I'm waiting to hit dub so I can watch, but I've been seeing lots of trailers. But today I'm gonna be drawing just a simple anime head, getting some practice in while I'm jumping back into it slowly. And I'll do some steps and stuff like that, but let's hop into it. So since I'm jumping back into it, I'm gonna get a feel for how her head is shaped. Her head is shaped kind of in a classic anime style head. It's not a new modern day style anime head. So pretty much uh, she got a very pointy chin and her face is not as rounded off as that you see in more modern day style anime. So it's kind of like, you know, 2000s style anime. And as you can see here, I'm just pretty much getting a feel for how her head is supposed to be drawn. So I'm doing, you know, my regular bare bones thing, my skeletal type thing. And I'm just trying to figure out how it looks and how it feels before I start doing my own thing because my edges are pretty rough and I need to sharpen them up. And this is a great way to practice getting my way back into my own flow. And since I'm using Adobe Illustrator, I have a lot of tools at my hand. Uh, for example, I use the ellipse tool for her head. Very simple tool just to use, just to get the job done to figure out the top of her head before I start working on the bottom part of her chin. And it just makes the workflow so much faster and easier just to get some of the shapes down. And if you're using digital software like this, it really does help out a lot when you actually utilize all the tools that it comes with. So let me step away from the anime for a second and just talk about me and why I've been gone for such a long time. Actually explain it in the last video. I gave you guys a little snippet of why I've been gone for pretty much a whole year. But um, pretty much I had a fallout with all my anime work and stuff like that just because uh, my job started back up and the hours are long and tough and sometimes I just don't have the energy to just even create anything and so I've just been really dead and I just felt the really backs I haven't been making a lot of videos in a long time but as I said before I'm trying to hop back into it trying to do what I can do and uh, like my main goal while hopping back into it is to do maybe one to maybe two videos a week um, these do take up a lot of time to create and think about what I want to make usually um, what I did in the past is I put up a poll for what I asked for you guys to I think I should draw what I should create my uh, mainly fan art and stuff like that or uh, actual creations and uh, you know it's, it's fun and it worked for a while but I'm gonna switch up my style of flow I uh, usually in my videos I would upload the entire process of me drawing a character and then at the end of the video I switched over to a speed art phase where I did all like the line work and stuff but I'm thinking about segregating those two things just to maybe add a whole entire second element to my content creation um, so for when it comes to like the line art phase, uh, I might ask if you guys want to uh, see that in a uh, detailed video or just uh, keep it as a full speed art and make it separate. Um, but you guys can decide on that. Um, we can talk about that again near the end of the video. But uh, if we get back to the actual anime in this video, you can see how I pretty much drew out the entire head and how I was comparing it with the other head. Uh, as you see here, I'm now overlapping it with the other head and just checking to make sure that things are lining up as I'm practicing. And this is perfectly fine when you're just starting up and getting back into it. Like I said, I'm an entire year out of the game and this does help me out with my flow to get back into my free handing. And it really does help out a lot. And you can see my accuracy here with the creation. It's pretty spot on but if you look at uh the girl's left eye you can see that it's a little lower and smaller than the one on the actual image and so you know there's some work to be done there and i go over it and i edit it while i'm going into my second phase the red line phase as you see here i'm just now figuring out how i want to do it before i get into the actual line art but as you guys can see uh my skills are very rough uh, but then again no one's perfect and only practice makes perfect. And so, you know, I gotta keep on practicing. Why this is more of just me practicing than anything else versus an actual tutorial. Um, but I do hope to, uh, you know, get better over time. Uh, obviously I will, I just gotta keep plugging away and keep practicing at it and drawing more things, uh, daily practicing here and there. Uh, and I can learn new things to draw, new tips and stuff. Uh, you never know. But you just gotta take your time with it. And um, as you can see her, here, her head is pretty much come together pretty well. And uh, I'm thinking about making the line art phase an entirely separate video. Like I said earlier, I think it would be best if I do it that way where I make them separate instead of just having a complete speed art at the end of the video. Maybe you guys will like that, maybe you guys won't. Uh, put it down in the comments if you guys want me to continue doing it the old way how I did it where everything was all just 
uh, put into one video. But if you guys want it more segregated and more separated, I could probably do more explaining on the other part, then let me know. But um, that's pretty much it. It's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Hopefully you guys like this Annie Monday back in action. You already know what it is. Your boy out.